Has this happened to you? Oh boy, look at that super cool Star Wars ship. Oh, I would love to get that in Lego form one day as like a civilian freighter or something. Oh, but alas, it's too obscure. Lego would never make something so obscure. Wait a minute. Now, I don't know about you, but personally, I think that some of the coolest sets that Lego Star Wars has to offer are the ones based off of obscure slash semi-obscure ships. There's just something about these sets that makes the LEGO Star Wars universe feel as cohesive as the Star Wars universe. I mean, one of the things that made Star Wars so groundbreaking in 1977 was the fact that you had a sci-fi universe with a lived-in feel to it. Because before Star Wars, a space adventure movie meant new and shiny. Star Wars shattered that pattern. So as fun as it is to get the Empire's new shiny vehicles, I just, I really like the clunky old background vehicles. The random hunks of junk bring Star Wars to life on the big screen and they bring Lego Star Wars to life. So today I'm counting down the top five semi-obscure hunk of junk background ships that Lego Star Wars needs to make. Coming in strong at number five, we've got the Personal Luxury Yacht 3000. Its most notable appearance is in Season 5 of The Clone Wars when Obi-Wan has to go undercover as Reiko Hardeen. I've just always thought that it was such an interesting shape and such a cool ship, and I would love to see it make an appearance as an official LEGO set. I mean, if they were to make this, it would probably be based off of this episode, but you know, if the ship happened to show up in some new media, then they could base it off of that. Comment down below if you'd rather get this set based off of Clone Wars or some kind of new media. Then coming in at number four is the Flare Star class attack shuttle. I'm sure that you can remember this as the staple of Hondo Onaka's fleet, which, side note, they should totally make a sitcom starring Hondo Onaka. I actually did a mock of one of these a long while back, and I mean like a long while back. It didn't turn out bad, I mean it didn't turn out good, but it was at least okay. But yeah, I think that a Flare Star would be really well received, especially if they reintroduce Hondo in it. Like seriously, if this guy isn't in your top 5 characters list, then you're not Star Warsing, right? Then coming in at the number 3 spot is the YV-865 Aurora class freighter. This is most notable for its appearances in the Zygeria arc of the Clone Wars, and I just think that this is a wicked awesome design. I just love the rotating engine design with the landing gear on them. It's, it's just a really neat looking ship. I'd also say that this is probably the least likely set on this list to happen for obvious reasons. But on the flip side of that, I think that this is maybe the most likely set on this list to happen. This is the Hound's Tooth, the personal ship of Bounty Hunter Bosk. And while the ship itself only makes one appearance in like all of the movies and TV shows, I think that Bosk is at least you know, popular enough that they could probably go out and do this ship and it would sell well. I can see a hound's tooth at like a 80 or $100 price bracket just going really well because it's Bosk. Who doesn't like Bosk? So let me know down in the comments if you would be pumped for a 180, I'm not 180, 100 or an $80 hound's tooth. And then at number one, is Luthen's Fondor Hullcraft. If you were to tell me that this is not your favorite ship in all of Star Wars, then I would look at you and tell you that you're lying. I get chills every single time I watch this scene. This is probably my favorite scene in all of Star Wars. I love this ship. It is just the coolest thing to come out of Star Wars. I know that after the Justifier, if LEGO ever did make this, it probably would not be very big, but I just feel like it would be such a disservice to have this at anything less than the $170 price point. I could see LEGO potentially making one of these if it plays a significant role in Andor Season 2, but the Andor Season 1 set didn't sell very well even though it's really a good set, um, so I don't know if this will ever come 
or if it will just remain a dream. And well, there you go. Let me know down in the comments which sets you would put on this list, and if you would change the order of any of the ones that I have here in the video. If you've made it this far into the video, I appreciate you for watching, and might I ask you to subscribe if you made it this far, because I'm guessing that you probably enjoy this content, and you don't want to miss out on any more of it. And uh, speaking of more of it, there's actually some on the end screen right now for you to watch.